there's a, there's a trumpet band in that factory. <laughs> Please welcome Mercedes Masson, everybody. Mercedes Masson. I love your dress. It's sensational. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. It's painted on. I'm yeah. actually so nervous that women will understand what I'm saying. My feet are sweating in my shoes where I have to spread my toes just to hold my shoes on. <laughs> Sexy, right? That's They're like very this attractive. <laughs> so you're, you're spreading your toes? Right now. <laughs> Only when I walk. Only when I walk. So, what, are they calm now, your toes? They're calm. I've, I've told them to. Why would you be nervous here? <laughs> Is that to You've got toe cleavage, though. That's very attractive. I like a bit of... Oh, ooh, yeah, really? A bit of toe cleavage, yeah. Or cleavage, as we call it. Cleavage. Cleavage, Cleavage. Yes. That's right, Jeff, isn't it? Cleavage. Cleavage. <laughs> it's a Swedish word. You ever been to Sweden? Born and raised. I knew ah, that. Ah, did yeah. you? No. Trickery there. So when did you come over here from Sweden? You know, I came at that nice awkward age, 12, 13, oh, where the great. zits are blooming. Yeah, and, that's nice. You know, you've sort of developed that hunch over because you're not confident enough to stand up and yeah, push your boobs it. out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it comes. It comes. All right, time. All right. That's nice though. And then you're doing the finder with that's Michael Clark Duncan. He's my friend. I know. He gets you very guys have quite a love hate thing going. Yeah, here. yeah. I love him. He hates me. I've noticed. <laughs> He talks about it on he set. He gets very angry at me all the time because I kind of I pour a little bit of cold water on his rather <laughs> odd love of cute animals. You know, he's got a kitten who he, he mentions named Mimi. Oh, I thought, was, I thought his kitten was called Mittens. <laughs> Mimi. Does he, does he take his little cat to the set? No, 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 not that I've seen, but I hear stories that she sleeps on his chest and purrs. Now imagine I'd his. I'd sleep on his chest and purr. I know you yeah. would. I've tried. He oh. won't let me do it. Well, he's enormous. I know. I know. He's enormous. He could crush your head like a bug. That. I don't think he would, though. So well, you know how that happens on set. They, he and Jeff just do push-ups. Really? So that they literally just stand there and compare muscle circumference as it's as it's happening. That must be a terrible job for a young woman, isn't it? <laughs> They've got me doing squats. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to be one of the boys. Really? I try. My glutes are. Mm. Really? Your, your glutes are mmm, your toes are mmm? Uh? <laughs> you like, you be Spider-Man. <laughs> so, listen, the show's about a guy who finds uh, trumpet bands in abandoned buildings, right? <laughs> yes. What is it about? Absolutely. A man who finds trumpet bands really? in abandoned buildings. Really? No, 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 that no. was the pilot. No, what's the finder? What does he do? He actually has this gift where he's able to find things that most people can't see, they can't track. Well, like your keys and overlooked. stuff? Like, you, uh, <laughs> like, I can't find my keys. He's like, I know where they are. I, get, I know where they're over there. He, yeah. he lives in people's closets and just jumps Do people in. say to you when you lose stuff, they say, where's the last place you left it? You're like, well, if I <laughs> Crocky. knew that, I wouldn't have lost it. Can you imagine if that was the whole show? Yeah. In well, the beginning, where, what happened? I lost my dad. Where, where'd you leave him? Yeah, yeah. There he is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Done. So uh, he has a, what does he find then? He must find specific things. Um, a bunch of things. We found a meal for a certain couple. We found a serial killer. We found, um, it's a collaboration. Wait, was the, the meal and the serial killer in the same place? <laughs> we like found you the went serial to a killer restaurant? eating the meal. He was in a restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> and so what do you do in the show then? What's your role? I carry a gun. <laughs> That's good enough. Very exciting. Yeah. Story. <laughs> what kind of gun do you carry? Do you actually fire guns in your own life? You know, um, they were kind enough, Fox, to give me, love Fox, they were kind enough to give me a real life U.S. Marshal who trained me, he taught me how to handcuff. They hand gave cuff. you a U.S. Marshal? I own him now. Wow. He's mine. And he trained you in the use of firearms? Mm hmm And do you have a concealed weapons permit for California? No. Okay. I haven't quite taken it to that extent. Season you, two. Yeah, no, you, you, you should do that. Although, I don't know where you can seal it there. I, I... Between my toes. You can Are put you it kidding? in your toes, yeah! Now, if you, were gonna, your room. if you were gonna have a gun, what kind of gun would you have? Would it pump action 12 gauge or something small? Sawed off shotgun. No, I would like a 9mm because it's sleek and you mm -hmm. can, you know, and it gives enough power and torque to just. Sometimes nice. you just gotta show it, just present it. And most perps just sort of. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know off. if in the real world of crime, if you say, <laughs> I have a gun, like anyone's gonna go, ah, uh, give myself up, copper. Where Take actually? me away. Yeah. So I you really came like, over. You came, what was I really like your uh, old woman impersonation, by the way. That was very good. Sounds that's like just, my that's just me. Ah, you're seasoned then. I am. I'm just an old woman. I am. Um, you came over from. Is it good? Thanks. For a woman. For a woman.
woman. All right. A I, woman. I, 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 um, what? 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 <laughs> you come over from from uh, Sweden, Sweden and you go to Chicago. Go to Chicago. One right. cold climate for another. Apparently. Right. Why did your family come over? Oh, uh, you know, my my father had a lot of family in Chicago, and right. um, you know, you really sort of hear that the streets are paved with gold. Chicago. So we came with like a hatchet. We wanted some gold. <laughs> Which part of Sweden are you from? Lean shopping. Oh, girl. that's my favorite part Is of Sweden. It? Yeah. <laughs> I love lean shaping. <laughs> Is that in the no no southeast? Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, that's yes, right. So you've been. I have been to Sweden. Yes. I've been to Stockholm. Have you? I have. I went to the Cafe Opera. Very nice. Did you, you, you ever like go it? to the Cafe Opera? I, of course. Yeah, I bet you did. Yeah. <laughs> Nice in there, isn't it? Ah, I yeah. learned that from MC Michael Clark Duncan. Michael, oh, MC. He taught me the MCD. Do you, do you call him MCD? Uh huh. Does he call himself MC? He calls himself Guns. And he Does he really? Just, he poses a lot when we come into set. He's really? the thinker half the time. It's. Do you know? Strangely enough, when you do it, it's far more. <laughs> it's far more interesting to me. I'm like, do it again. Do your MCD again. Mm. You just made my toes do that. <laughs> It's a creepiness detector. <laughs> well, we're out of time here. Oh, right? good. Hey, uh, did I pronounce your name properly? Mason. 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 Very good. I've you been got a Sweden. That right on. Yeah. That's what they teach you is how to pronounce names. <laughs> lean I learned a few things in lean schlepping. Lean. <laughs> is it lean schlepping? Lean shopping. Lean shopping. Shopping. As long as you know langom. Langom. Langom is sort of like um, iry to the Jamaicans. It's, everything's cool. We're all good. Oh, really? Like Hakuna Matata? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so langom? Langom. 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 Oh, langom. Oh. <laughs> all right. Touché. Big cash prize. Awkward pause, mouth organ, or freeze frame high five? I would like a freeze frame high five followed by an awkward pause. Yes. Can I do that? You can have can I be greedy? You... Ooh la la! Oh. <laughs> Alright, you ready? ready? Okay. Free stream high five! <laughs> Come here. This is your first talk show? Yeah. Did you shave your armpits? I did. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The seating must talk! A chinchilla named Chucky, though. Chinchilla. A chinchilla? What's named a, Chucky. What's a chinchilla? You know what they make the nice fur coats and stuff you out of? You can't do that with your pets? No, I don't. I don't. Don't get Peter started on me, okay? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Chucky is cool. Do you have any cats? Five cats. Oh, stop. As uh, Pinky, All right. Bunny, Snowflake, Whiskers, and Big Papa. <laughs> Big Papa's a little overweight. He's a little overweight. That surprises me somewhat. Right. That you, well, I didn't have you down as a cat guy. No, I love cats. I have cat all my life, man. Right, but so you've got five cats, two dogs, and a chinchilla. Yes, and fish. And fish. Yeah. Do you ever feed the fish to any of the other animals? That was cool. I, was, I, I told cool. you. No, no. I love my little animals. All right. Okay. What okay. kind of fish do you have? They're koi fish. Koi. They're delicious. <laughs> Michael, what kind of man are are you? I'm a man that enjoys a fish dinner, is what I am. Be that way with my animal. No, my fish are nice. All right, all right. But your koi is a delicious fish. No, Have you ever been to the restaurant koi here in Beverly Hills? Once. Right. They do not serve koi at koi. Don't do that. Because I've only been there once and I'll never go back if that's what I think. Please don't put that in my mind. All right, all right. They, they, don't, they don't serve koi. Have you ever been to the restaurant chinchilla here in Ireland? <laughs> <laughs> you make me upset. Chucky no, no, is nice. No, no, Chucky no, is cool. No, no, These no, no, no. joints and everything clears your mind up. You would not have that cold if you did more yoga. Well, you know, you see, you know who was here last night? Susan Sarandon was here last night. She said Beautiful. you would not have the flu if you looked after yourself better. And I'm like, I look after myself. Right? You don't. You don't. Yeah, come on. You don't. I have yet I to get as sick. much coy as I can get my hands on. I, I'm kidding. I don't. I don't. I don't. I would never eat a delicious koi. I, <laughs> I'm gonna I, walk out of here. No, I don't. I'm the only guest you got.